16th February 2020, my grandparents completed 50 years of wedded bliss. Amazing, right? I mean, I can't even imagine spending that many years with one person, taking care of each other, laughing together, squabbling, loving, in sickness and in health. You know, the works. So, we decided to celebrate it with a renewal of vows and man, we all had a blast. We, their grandchildren and their children almost relived the event that took place 50 years ago. Of course, some people who were there then were no more now and they were missed. But with a new set of loved ones, Swapna and Psychic Guha made fresh memories that will hopefully last another 50 years. I was the recorder of events, albeit self-appointed, and here's a short video I thought I'd share with you where you can see a Bengali wedding with a twist. It's a little different, you know, like the Maggie ketchup ad. Bhat. Traditionally, Aibura Bhat is when the bride and the groom are treated by their own families to a grand meal before the wedding, sort of like the bachelor party of a Bengali wedding. This is a very important part of any Bengali wedding ceremony. An alpuna is hand-drawn on the floor with a liquid made of rice flour. Elaborate designs like lotus flowers or fish are drawn free-form and in addition, a small banana plant is placed at the entrance of the house. The Gai Holut ceremony takes place on the morning of the wedding. Holut is the Bangla word for yellow and also for turmeric. All over India, turmeric is considered to be antiseptic and purifying, and also a cosmetic, lending a golden glow to the skin. It is also traditionally believed to provide protection against evil spirits. So fresh turmeric is ground into a paste. First. The groom's family applies it on him and then the same turmeric goes to the bride's house. Here, the groom's family also carries a whole bundle of goodies for the bride such as sweets and clothes, cosmetics and so on, along with the turmeric paste. The bride's family anoints her with the turmeric and gives her a bath, getting her ready for the wedding.
that most aptly encapsulates a Bengali style wedding is the ritual of Shubhodrishti. It is one of the most attractive, elegant, and exciting rituals of the entire wedding ceremony. The bride is carried to the wedding manda while she keeps her face covered with two betel leaves. Usually, the brother or cousins carry her on a piri or wooden seat. When she is face to face with her groom, the shy bride is urged to remove the betel leaves covering her face so that the groom and the bride can have their first look at their life partner. Also, a fun fact, ages ago when only arranged marriages existed, the bride and the groom never actually saw each other until the moment of Shubhodrishti, which is why this tradition is celebrated with such fervor. So if you want to kiss your wife, then you have to find your wife's hand. Otherwise, whoever's hand you find, you have to kiss the person. Ketchup coming out. Ketchup. If you shop the you will don't give so much. See, Kacha, mix all the reds because I want like a nice rich red. Aha, uh -huh, rich red I coming out. Single color red. And chandelier template. Alo's voice has also come out. Alo's voice is coming back. Chandelier templates coming back. We were gratified to share this special moment celebrating a love so steady, so strong and steadfast. <laughs>